Hey everyone, how's it going? I have unfortunate news. The Tesla Model 3 has a dent on the front left fender. This is the first dent for this Tesla Model 3 and it's hard to see, but I'm gonna move it around so it will be under the fluorescent light. So there it is. It's about the size of a quarter. It has a good groove. And I'm gonna try to remove this dent myself today and share with you all how to do that. So here I have a paintless dent removal. This will attach to the dent using a special glue from a glue gun. And I post the link to this product in the description of this video in case if you are looking to purchase one, use the link uh, for, for the order. And uh, there is a promotion going on right now for this as well. It's definitely cheaper and you can use it many, many times for many dents. And you have different adapters to attach the dent with, uh, depending on the dent size. And this can be useful for not just Tesla Model 3 or Model S or X, you can use this on any other vehicle. Here's a special glue. So don't use any glue gun. It has to be a special glue that adhere to the clear coat and that plastic tool. Uh, to be able to work. So first off, let's heat up the glue gun, plug in, and we want that really hot. Uh, while we wait for that, we'll clean up this area where the dent is. So this is 50% water, 50% alcohol. Alcohol will help break down any road debris, oil, etc. So you have a good adhesive glue between the adapter and in the paint clear coat. So usually the glue gun takes about you know a few minutes to heat up. I uh, usually let it sit for 10 minutes. So here's the smallest adapter. This is elongated because that dent was an elongated dent. You want to put a good amount um, but not too much. Just enough for it to, to adhere and to stick to it firmly. And I use a crayon, a washable one, to mark where the dent is so I can quickly find it after putting the glue on. And you want to use something that is erasable. So once this is here, I usually let it sit for three minutes or so, four minutes, and then crank it up to put some stress. And while the last stretch of stress, pull it up tightly, and that will help yank out that dent. And to clean up the glue, you want to use some alcohol. In this case, I'm using 100% alcohol to, to get this glue out because it's fairly strong glue. And you want to do this with a microfiber cloth. Uh, if you have a spray bottle, spray right on it and use the microfiber cloth to take off that glue. You don't want to use your fingernails or any other tool that's going to scratch up your clear coat. Okay. So I'm just putting a good amount of alcohol on it and then slowly working off the glue. It's fairly easy to take off with alcohol, to be honest. So this uh, process, you need to do it several times until you're satisfied and the, the ding is flush with the entire panel. In this case, I'm continuing the same process. As you saw there, the strength of that pull wasn't as strong. So I'm gonna put more of this glue onto this tool. Again, you can adjust the amount of glue based on how you feel about the pull strength. And if, if you're about to be done with pulling on that dent and it looks like it's about to be complete, completely pull out, you wanna put less and less glue. You don't wanna over pull on that dent or else you're gonna cause a, a bulge instead. So as the dent size got reduced, I put less and less glue, I adjust the amount. So you want to do that and eyeball it um, based on the stress that you pull on to, on to this tool. Here I'm just cleaning up the area while I wait for the glue to dry. So you can find other things to do um, so that you just don't just sit there. But I usually wait about three, three minutes or so. Uh, to let the glue dry up before I pull on it because there's no point in pulling it up when the glue is not fully dry. And you end up wasting more time because if the glue is not fully dry, you're not really pulling any of the dent out. 
again here, um, repeating the process. So this is a feel and a visual look of when you know the glue is about to give out. And you want to crank on it slowly at first to pull that stress into the paint. And then once you know it's about to pop, you turn it quickly. And that will give it a little jerk upward to help pull the dent out. And again, repeat the process with the alcohol to get the glue off the paint. Again, you might see some scuffle um, even with the microfiber, but don't worry about that. I'll share with you what I use to clean up minor scratches uh, with a scratch removal uh, compound at the end of the video. So, you know, use alcohol sparingly. If you're having trouble trying to get this out, just work your way down from the top side or bottom wherever the glue is about to give way once it once you have the the edge up you can um, dump more alcohol on top of it with the microfiber soak a little bit more and you should be able to get the glue off no problem just don't do it without the alcohol available because the glue is impossible to to get off the paint or even the, the tool so again, this, I have a larger amount of glue on here, so it's just um, taking a little bit more effort to take this off. Again, the, the glue that comes with the kit is either a light color or a dark color. Um, I probably should have been using the darker color because of the light of the vehicle, so they have that in contrast for the color of your vehicle, so you can see where the glue is at. Same process, um, just showing you to how to apply and again, I'll show you the results at the end of the video, but just eyeball the amount of glue you put on here uh, versus what you're trying to pull out from the dent. Don't over saturate it with glue. You don't want to be pulling parts of uh, the non-dent portion of the vehicle. Again, I mark it with a washable crayon so I know exactly where to put this while the glue is hot without trying to figure out if I hit the, the right spot or not. So again, I highly recommend working in a highlighted area with fluorescent lights above you uh, or if you have a portable fluorescent light, um, it's good to have that so you can actually see if you're making any progress or not. So again, applying more glue, um, I ended up doing this about, I can't remember, eight or nine times um, before I was satisfied with the results. Uh, so, so here, I'm applying less and less glue, just trying to get the last part of the dent out because uh, it's not just one pull as you normally see or you see on online where they do miracle pulls with uh, hot water or uh, nitrogen oxide, ice or whatever. I don't think those method actually works. Uh, but who knows, on plastic it might, but on metal, um, not too sure about it. So again, doing some last pulls here. Again, th there's definitely uh, a better feel after you do it five, six times when you know it's going to snap. And the glue is going to always be stuck on, on the paint. Uh, there was a couple times it stuck on the, the tool itself, but most of the time it was on the paint. So that means you have a good uh, adhesive. So here's the results. The dent is completely gone. You can't even see it with the naked eye. And under the fluorescent light, it's completely gone. And as I mentioned earlier, there is some minor scratches from the fingernails with the microfiber. So I'm gonna use this McGuire Scratch Remover 2.0. I've been using this for years. It works really well. It's a compound, shake it up, uh, you put a little bit sparingly on the microfiber cloth and then you rub it on the paint. Uh, apply a little pressure, not too much, especially with the minor scratches. You don't need that much pressure. And then you just rub it in the circular motion. And once you're done, just wipe it off, um, just like you would wipe off any wax. Uh, so same application as you would do with waxing your car applying it and then taking it off once it dries up so i'm just giving it a good rub 
and make sure I got all the minor scratches. It's harder to see any scratch on the lighter vehicle. And then I do have ceramic coating, so I'm just gonna reload. Just make sure I have that part that I apply alcohol to. Um, it's, it's, it's good to go with the rest of the vehicle. And again, I'll post in the link of all these products so where you can purchase them. Highly recommend them. It's definitely a lot cheaper and you can use it many times for many dents uh, versus paying a third party about 90 bucks to fix a, a dent on your vehicle. And Tesla, I believe, is like 150 to 200 for per dent per service call with the Ranger. Hopefully you find this video helpful. Uh, remember to subscribe, like, and share with whoever you think will find this video helpful. Uh, it can work on any other vehicle. So not just with Tesla, although Tesla, some panels are aluminum, so harder to work with. But uh, I find, you know, I spent maybe an hour to, to fix this dent. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Um, can't even notice it. Now, it's not as hurtful as when seeing it for the first time. And knowing that I have this kit available for any future dings or dents is uh, very comforting. Catch you all next time.